guys, it's me, Brooke, and today I will be doing a review video on a hairbrush straightener, and this hairbrush straightener is by Oakleaf, and they were kind enough to send me this hairbrush straightener and to try it out, and I'm super excited to do that. I've never done a review video on my channel before, and I've always wanted to, but I never got around to it, so today that is what I'm doing. Also, if you guys want me to do more reviews, put it in the comment section down below of what I should review next, if you guys like this. Um, and yeah, so let's just get on with the video. So I got this straightener from Amazon.com, that's where you can purchase this. I will put the link down in the description box um, so you can go check it out. And I also have a 10% off discount as well. So the straightener just comes in this plain box, and once you take it out, it looks like this, and it's just in this black kind of suede pouch type of thing, and then it has the cord attached to it, and it just says oak leaf on it. So once you take it out of the bag, it looks like this, and it looks like a hairbrush. So the straightener basically just looks like a hairbrush, and it has these red little rubber tips on the front as well, and I think that's just to like protect your hands from like burning yourself. I will do a close up on this because it's kind of hard to describe, but like. The hairbrush bristles, I guess, are actually like what heat up and they're like thicker than normal ones and I think that's what's going to straighten my hair so let's just plug this bad boy in. Alright, so now I've plugged it in and now I'm just going to turn on and the on button's right here. Ooh, it's on! I guess you have to hold down the on button for a little bit because it wasn't turning on at first. Um, I guess I can turn up the temperature and turn down the temperature with the plus and minus sign, so I'm just going to turn it up. So I just turned it up to the highest it can go, and I have it at 230 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's really hot, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Um, but that's the highest it goes, 230, and the lowest it goes is... So the lowest it goes is 80 degrees Celsius, so I'm just going to go up to... Uh, let's see... I'll go up to 205 degrees Celsius. I don't want it to get too hot. I can feel it heating up right now. And right now it's showing me how fast it's heating up. Like it's at 221, 22, 124. Like it's going up to 205. So it's almost there and I can feel how hot it is. So I'm just, I'm not going to touch it. So let me show you guys my hair right now. Um, it is pretty straight. I will zoom out in a second, but this is what it looks like right now. I had my hair up in a bun earlier, so it's kind of wavy. Um, I have naturally straight hair, but this, this is not happening. And also at the ends, it's a little bit wavy. Maybe not that wavy, but I'm still going to try it out and see if it can straighten these, like, bumps from when I put my hair in a ponytail. So we'll see if it can do that. It's at 187, so I'm going to wait for it to heat up. I can feel the heat on the, a little bit on the back. Not really on the back. It's way more in the front, but I can feel it heating up. So we're just gonna wait until this is finished. So it stopped counting and it got to 215 degrees. I accidentally put it 215, not 205. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, so let's do this. I guess we should brush through our hair first, like the piece we're gonna do. So let's, let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna brush through it. Let me zoom out for you guys a little bit. Let's see if this actually works. So it looks like it's working to me, um, even at the ends too. Let's do it again on this side. So this is this piece. We'll go this way this time, like this. But let me brush it out first. So I'm just going to take this section and go. Oh my gosh, it's working guys. It's actually working like I feel like it works better a little bit better this way but it works but definitely brush your hair out before and the piece you're gonna do before straightening it because you don't want your hair to get caught in it even though it does look like a brush um, you don't want your hair to get like fried inside of this so definitely brush out the pieces before and it actually works my hair still feels really hot um, it works like my hair is straight now also my hair is really flat right now because this is second day hair so it's not like super duper clean right now um, but it definitely works like I'm very excited about this like I'm actually gonna start using this I'm just gonna show you guys these wavy pieces that I have from the back so you guys can see more about how this works Oh 
Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. It's straight. It's like perfectly straight. Okay, let's do this again. Look at that out. Guys, this so works. It works really well. I'm really happy with this. So this is the end product of my hair and it is super straight. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I honestly did not think it would work this well, but it did and I'm really happy about it. So like you guys can tell, this is definitely a product that works really well. I'm not sure how it would work on all different hair types, but on my hair type, it works perfectly. Um, I know this would work well on wavy hair. Um, and I have pretty thick hair too, so I have a hard time straightening it, but this definitely did the job. So yeah, and then to turn it off, you're just gonna hold it down and then it's off. Um, it definitely gets really hot really fast, so make sure you are careful and not burn yourself because that would really suck and not feel too good. So yeah. So my overall rating of this product is a nine out of 10. Um, I took one point off because it gets really hot in the back and you could burn yourself really easily. But other than that, it works really well and I'm super happy with this. If you want to try this out as well, I'll have a link in the description box like I said earlier and you can also get 10% off. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys all next week. Bye!